Morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oilseed comments. Start this week, Monday, April 15th. Well, we ended the week last week somewhat on a quiet tone. We had the USDA reports, and as it panned out throughout the remaining of the week, we really didn't really go much in the way as far as price direction goes. We're maybe down a couple of cents in the winter wheat, uh, maybe up a little bit in the spring wheat, down around two in the corn, three in the beans for the week. The meal market was unchanged oil, a little bit lower. So once again, we've kind of got the same story and lead topics this week as we had last week. Just seems to be rolling on over in here. It's the USDA reports that have the cap over the marketplace and has been keeping us near the bottom end of this trading range that we've been describing endlessly, it seems like. But we're really not getting any follow through to the downside at this time. And on the flip side of it, it continues to be the three things that support the marketplace. The trade talks with the Chinese, the uh, weather growing season in front of us as far as the U.S. and the Northern Hemisphere goes. And then we had a renewed co uh, commitment of treasury report on Friday, which once again, starting off with it, continues to show the trade holding uh, modest to sizable net short positions across the floor with a little bit of variation from the previous one. The biggest variation being in the corn where they added to their net short position and now they have an even new record net short position in the uh, corn over I think close to 1.3 billion bushels. So you have that as far as limiting the selling interest right now or at least not having more bullets. Number two, the trade talks over the weekend the two representatives that the U.S. has continuing with the rhetoric as far as optimism goes, say they're getting closer to a deal. They may have a need a couple more meetings, and it sounds like they're inching closer and closer. The flip side of it is, is that there's been no negativism coming that the trade talks are up. So you still got that in the back of traders' minds. And then after this snow shower, April snow shower weekend here in Chicago and across the Midwest, we can see where field work continues to get hampered, and that kind of keeps the trade a little bit unease as far as let's get in the fields. We got another system coming through the Midwest midweek this week, and then which seemed to be going to be clearing on out, apparently on the radar is another system to start off the uh, week next week. So we'll get our crop progress uh, condition numbers coming out after they're closed today. The trade will be monitoring that. I know it's still a little bit too early, but it is a shortened trading week this week. It's Good Friday on Friday ahead of the Easter holiday, so it'll be a three-day weekend. I would imagine with the trade net short, with the weather still in limbo, and with the trade talks inching closer, that with the three-day weekend coming on up, we'll potentially still be in this lull type trade upholding our lows with the potential of coming back after the three-day weekend, maybe seeing a little bit more fireworks, particularly if the weather continues to be adverse and if there's even more traction as far as the trade talks go, with the trade being net short. Export inspections coming out later on this morning along with an OPA crush, crop progress after the close, lull trade, but maybe with a little bit more price optimism. These are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. I thank you.